Welcome back to another one and today with the latest camera from TomTom which has some interesting features that I will share with you in just a few moments but one of them is that it can be used as a standalone camera as it is right now just connected via app and we can use a second camera and the third or really interesting is that we can add this to a system with NVR. We have seen here at least three systems from Tonton. I will leave links right over here so you can check them out but it is a more dedicated system a more powerful system where we will centralize everything on the nvr and the nvr will keep all the information recorded by the camera so depending on what you are looking for this will cover either way inside the package we will find the camera itself all the assessors that we will need to assemble in terms of build quality it comes with the ton ton build quality that we have seen previously it's plastics and here at the front we have a metal part right next to the lens on the back we'll have uh, screws that we can insert up to 128 gigs micro SD card in terms of configuration it's really easy and I will show you the app in just a few moments if you want to use just one camera then it's just the app if we want to use the camera plus the NVR with another cameras and so on and so forth then uh, check one of these videos right over here you will see better what I mean how easy it is the same it is with the setup I will also leave links right over here with some tips so that we can have a nice setup and we have seen several ways including how to remove the original power adapter and put a small power adapter to power this type of camera in one of these boxes and have a clean installation so that being said these are the initial steps really easy if you are looking for something like this so just a few tips that might help those that are wondering for the first time if they will get a security system or not i will leave a link down below for all the specifications all the boring parts which some of them i will not mention right over here now in terms of the image quality which is one of the most important parts i did record a few things and first of all image quality during the day i know that i did record at least uh, in two separate days one was cloudy the other one was not so cloudy so we will see probably a difference right over there but nonetheless great image quality having in mind that I only watched on my phone so far it looks really nice but I haven't watched on a 1080 screen and have in mind that this video is recorded at 4k so the video will be stretched because the resolution is 1080 I also recorded during the night in a real life situation on my backyard and for what I've seen it looks really nice now in terms of the night vision it has three modes that we can select actually I only tested the three modes while I was here on the office but it works really nice one of which is the infrared mode which will see everything in black and white the other one is when we use the lights and it will be an image with colors so no black and white right over there and we also have an option which is the intelligent mode and basically what it does is that if it senses that the motion is close it will um, turn on the lights and we will have color if it's far away it will not turn on the lights and it will use the infrared so really smart on that aspect right over there in terms of the image quality really really happy it has not 360 but 355 degrees so you will see a lot of the area with this camera actually this is the one with more area coverage that I've seen so far in terms of these 360 cameras which it's not always 360 in this case 355 and it also has two interesting features which is the tracking mode which will track me all the time well not just me any motion that it will detect it will track that motion and it also has another feature that I will show you in the app in just a few moments so 10, 1080 resolution with 3 megapixels when we compare with a phone we say hey only 3 megapixels but this is the image quality that we get it's really good so forget about the megapixels and focus more on the image quality I've got here the app but I would also like to add that it has audio in both ways motion detection push alarms and it also has a alarm 
and that will make a lot of noise. Now, in terms of the app itself, it's a really simple to use app. We have seen it here on the past. And first of all, we might use the cloud service that Toton has or we can use the micro SD card that we can insert right over here up to 128 gigs. Or if we are using the camera with the NVR, then the NVR will do all the recording for us. And then we can have access with our phone, our computers and so on and so forth. To show us the different kinds of options that we have just one month with several days. And then we also have up to two years. So depending on what you want, I forgot to change to English on the app, but right now it is, as you can see, so you'll see some changes right over here. Sorry about that because I was recording previously my Portuguese video. Now, there are a few options right over here uh, where it says news, it's notifications, where the motion detection is triggered and it will record on the SD card or on the cloud what happened right over there. So as you can see, there were several movements, several things that it will detect it, including when I did bring it to the office right over here. So we can select this and we also have to share and to play back the video. So no surprises right over here. If I press on the um, uh, three dots right over there, we have the option to push the alarm, which is the notifications on our phone at this moment are turned off, but I can turn them on. We also have settings, which we will see in just a few moments, the edit and move to the top or to delete. Move to the top if we have more than one camera. If we go to the settings, we will go to this menu, but we can also go to that menu inside of the camera, as you can see right over here. And on the right top corner, we have the settings options where we can just select everything. Now, for example, I can select the motion detection, the way that it works, only humans or everything, or during the day, during the night, when I want, if I want the siren to work or not. So we have a lot of options right over here. Also the recording setting. In my particular case, I do believe that the best is to record 24 seven, or at least to record based on the, uh, let me select right over here, the event recording, which is when it detects movement, it will record. And we also have the timed recording, but to me, it doesn't make that much sense. Then we have the image setting where we can have the rotation, the night vision mode, and um, a few more options in terms of privacy area if we want to blur some of the area, if we are looking for our neighbors uh, area, for example, the PTZ control, which we can control if we want high, medium or lower uh, in terms of speed. And we also have the cruise mode, which is really nice. There are a few shortcuts for this, which I will share with you in just a few moments, which makes it easier even to use. Now, in terms of advanced settings, we have a lot of options right over here. Device voice prompt. I'm not sure if I mentioned, but it has audio in both ways. But besides that, we have the connect new Wi-Fi. This is always something that we struggle with smart devices like the camera or any other smart device. When we install it for the first time we discovered that our network signal is not that strong there so we will use it like that for one month or two but when we can get a wi-fi repeater or a power line then we install it and what happens to that device is that we will need to configure again in this particular case we don't need to do that so this although it sounds simple it's really really useful if i go right over here it will show me a list of the available wi-fi networks right over here and then I can just select and configure. Besides that, we also have a lot of options right over here that we can mess around. Actually, the app is simple, but it gives us all the options that we want. Now, here on this particular menu, I've got the quality of the video that I'm watching, depending on the network that I have. I can also save uh, pictures from the camera and I can record videos as well and I can put it on full screen, but full screen will stop my recording and that's not a great idea. Now, we have the PTZ right over here where we can pan and tilt without any issues, but I'm sure that I've already showed you a few images that are more interesting outside than in here. Besides that, we also have down below the microphone where we can speak and we can hear from the camera. And besides that, we also have the option for these shortcuts. Now, the first is the motion detection, which is enabled at this moment, and then motion tracking, which as I said, it will track my motion. 
cruise mode which with uh, motion tracking makes it really smart. The cruise will make it uh, from a few seconds from a few seconds it will turn and turn and turn and turn and then it will go back so it will act like a radar it's always moving slowly and if it detects something with the motion tracking detection enabled it will start following that object or that person ptz calibration just means that if i'm messing around with the camera for some reason to put the micro sd card and if it's not adjusted i just press there and it will adjust and then we have the three different modes of infrared night vision and basically this is it regarding the camera regarding the app which is straightforward as you could see really easy to use so if we are looking for just one single camera 360 great if we want to integrate it on a bigger system it's also great and in my opinion this is the biggest advantage that this camera and the system from Tonton brings to the table that being said hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you did so don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is Roberto George today with the Tonton 360 by the way I didn't mention that it's waterproof, but as you could see, it was raining during a few days, so it is waterproofed IP66 certified, and I was forgetting about that, which is really important for a outside or outdoor surveillance camera. That being said, once again, my name is Alberto George, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.